Way out there, as far as the eye can see, is a line that defines the boundary between land and sky. We could walk towards it, but we may never arrive. For there it sits, tantalizingly out of reach, yet calling us ever forward, demanding progress, demanding that we cast our eyes higher and further than we thought possible. Because what lies beyond the horizon, well, that is a prize worth fighting for. Yes, it's here. The Harmony Ethereum Bridge is ready and it's on mainnet. But before we get too carried away, it's important to remember this is the very first iteration of it. This is version one. And this is where we put the early functionality into production and move the very first traffic across it. And we want our early users to get a feel for bridging Ethereum assets easily and cost-effectively. So it should be simple to use and not require you to understand specifics like Merkle roots and receipt hashes, and it should be cheap enough to make it actually worth using. So we should kind of consider it as the first piece of a broader cross-chain ecosystem that's currently being built on Harmony, and that includes the ETH to Harmony bridge from Connext, the Polkadot Harmony bridge being built by Everstake, the Swoop cross-chain decks, and if you caught Stephen's recent AMA with the community, you will have heard him talk about that. And if you didn't, then you'll find a link to it up here. And let's not forget about Unify from our friends at Sesame Seed, which is a multi-chain dex. Nice. They'll be bridging BUSD and adding it as liquidity. And finally, there's the YF Link waffle game, and you can find more about that in the link below. And that is just the beginning. So what can you do with the bridge? Okay, so this first version will allow you to do three things. Firstly, send your Ethereum BUSD to Harmony. Secondly, send your Ethereum link to Harmony. And thirdly, send any ERC20 token from Ethereum to Harmony. You could also perform the reverse transfer. In other words, redeem your tokens back to your Ethereum account from Harmony. There is a cost involved here with two transactions to sign, but each one costs, wait for it, a minuscule fraction of a cent. I think you'll be okay. So let's get techers. How does it actually work? For transfers from ETH to Harmony, this is the flow. So a user requests the bridge to transfer his ERC20s and provides their Harmony address to receive HRC20 assets one-to-one -one on Harmony in return for authorizing the bridge to lock their ERC20 tokens. The bridge hosts a set of validators that listen to this request, perform the lock, and then wait for the required number of Ethereum block confirmations to ensure finality which ensures that the lot transaction never leaves the Ethereum chain. Upon confirmation, bridge validators request HMY Manager to mint the HRC20 assets and transfer to the recipient's user account. Going back the other way, the user requests the bridge to take back HRC20 assets and provides an Ethereum address to receive ERC20s one-to-one -one in that wallet by authorizing the bridge to burn those HRC20s. The bridge validators capture this request, perform the burn transaction on Harmony, and request the bridge contract on Ethereum to release the locked ERC20s to the user-specified account. So what about the elephant in the room? Now, if you remember, during our recent hackathon, we built a prototype bridge called Iris, and one of the questions we were wrestling with was how to create a trustless and permissionless bridge. And the answer is, it's a process. Now, by the time we get to version three, the bridge will be fully permissionless and fully trustless, but we have to get there in stages. Now, in version one, the bridge backend is trusted and hosted by Harmony. Only the backend can perform the bridge transfers, which are listening to the lock event on Ethereum and performing the mint functioning on Harmony in response. Or the opposite, which is, of course, burning the Harmony asset and unlocking the corresponding asset on Ethereum. And version one is also permissioned, which means only bridge validators can execute bridge smart contract functions of Mint or Unlock. Now this version doesn't feature any light clients and relies on the majority of validators to confirm the bridge transactions which are relayed by validators. As we move into version two, we'll introduce a block relayer run by Harmony. So it's still a trusted solution, but will deploy light clients on both chains, eliminating the bridge backend and the validators. So here we are in version one, but of course pushing ahead at speed to get to version two, and we'll be running a hackathon soon to fuel that development process. Now we're not ready to unveil all the details of that yet, but I've seen a little bit of what Peter's cooking up, and I think you'll like it.
So this is a really exciting moment. It's the first crucial piece of infrastructure for our cross-chain ecosystem. And you can try it for yourself now on mainnet. But if you're just curious to see how it works, then here is a demo from Gizm to show you exactly that. Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to quickly show uh, a few transactions on our Ethereum Harmony Bridge. Um, so go, please go to bridge.harmony.one. Um, this is our bridge page and you will see two flows uh, from Ethereum to Harmony uh, and the other way around. To do the Ethereum to Harmony flow, uh, we need to connect with the MetaMask. Let's do that. And over here you can see uh, some of my Ethereum uh, tokens already. Let's go ahead and also like log in with the one wallet too. Just because I'm going to try the other flow too. Okay, so I see that I have 7 BUSDs. Uh, let's try to bring um, one of them uh, on Harmony. So this is my address uh, also filled here. You will be prompted to sign to a transaction. So let's see what those are. The first one is approving the bridge uh, or authorizing it to access your Ethereum assets. You get a Ethereum uh, transaction hash. You can see the status here. If it takes a little while, you can go ahead and um, bump, bump this up on your um, on your MetaMask. It should be under BOSD. Yes. Uh, if I click here, speed it up. I'm not gonna do it now, but um, you can try it out. So we'll wait until this proceeds to the next transactions. Okay, so this is the other transaction. Confirm. So this transaction will lock um, these, this one BUSD on Ethereum. Let's view this. Oops, not yet. Okay, so this is the first transaction uh, completed from my account to the BUSD contract. Okay, now we're on the third step. So here we're gonna wait for 13 blocks uh, on Ethereum. Uh, this is to make sure this lock transaction is not reversed or leaves Ethereum before um, while, we attempt, while we will attempt uh, the mint token on Harmony side. Actually, after here, uh, since this will take a while, you can leave this page. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the assets. Uh, so this page shows all the bridge assets so far. Um, you see BUSD link, USDT, Uni, YFI, I don't know why there are two, needs to be fixed. Um, yeah, and each has a an ERC20 contract address and an equivalent of HRC20 contract address. If you click here, you will see the BUSD contract uh, deployed on the Harmony. And this total locked shows the total amount uh, locked on, on the bridge, which is not really correct at the moment. Let's move on. So this is a transaction. This is basically the bridge explorer. And since each bridge transaction consists of multiple transactions, this is how we actually um, view the bridge transaction. So if you look, uh, so this is the one that I submitted. Um, yeah, so four minutes ago, still waiting for the 13 blocks of uh, finality. And let's look at a success transaction. So this is, again, I did this transaction. And you see, um, after the finality, mint token transaction on Harmony side uh, is performed. And that's how I actually uh, got my BUSDs on Harmony side. We'll still wait for the for new new transaction to be uh, to be completed. Notice that I have two BUSD on Harmony and my um, Ethereum BUSD. Uh, remember, this was 7.9, so this is already locked uh, on the Ethereum manager. Okay, and it's minted. Now I have three BUSD on my Harmony wallet.
let me go to one wallet and see my tokens um, okay so I have three BUSD here and if you don't see BUSD or any other tokens here just go uh, just go ahead enter the token contract address uh, it will it will automatically show up there cool uh, shall we try to <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about the dog. Okay, so now we um, try to bring those BUSDs back to Ethereum. Let's see how that will work. I will select one again. ETH address, I use my address because I'm logged in. Same flow. You will notice this is a lot faster. Now, this time, the first transaction happens on Harmony's side. Oh, we're already in the second transaction, okay. Okay, success. This is in progress. Okay, Explore isn't showing at the moment. Let's try to see again. Yes, okay. Cool, listen, AMB, Binance, USD, transfer. Okay, the second transaction is, is success as well. And on Harmony Science, since uh, finality is much, much quicker, we don't wait for 13 blocks. Um, now the bridge will unlock those lock tokens on the Ethereum chain. See, so I had three BUSD, now I have back to two. These BUSDs are burned uh, as they were minted um, when we did the Ethereum to Harmony flow. Okay, success uh, on Ethereum unlock as well. That is great. Let's see. Let me just refresh this page real quick. See if I got. Yep, I got my Ethereum BUSDs seven point back to seven point nine. Okay, so I sent back, got one back. Shall we try and look at this transaction again? So this time, Harmony to Ethereum, uh, and you can see all the free transactions and how much you paid for each. Um, awesome.